you're new here, this is my crafty she shed. If you wanna see how I organized all my stuff, I just recently had a baby, so I had to move my crafting inside for a bit. So this video is gonna be moving back to the craft shed, organizing it, and my husband's also gonna show you guys how he built this floral tree. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I am not going to lie. When I walked in this shed to do this, I literally almost walked right back out because I was extremely overwhelmed and I just could not see the end. So the biggest, biggest tip that I have for you, if you guys need to organize anything, really, it doesn't have to be your crafts or your supplies. The biggest thing is just to start somewhere and as you go along, you will find a system that works for you. So the best thing that I found was just to at least do my best to put the containers where I wanted them. And then as I went along and organized, I just kind of moved things around as I saw fit. If things didn't work in a spot, then I would move it. It's basically just trial and error. So you try something somewhere. If it doesn't work, then move it around. So basically, that's what I did. I little by little took my stuff back out to the shed that I had brought inside. Obviously, I didn't take all of my stuff because if I did, my entire house would probably be a hot mess. <laughs> The stuff that I've accumulated over the last four years is absolutely insane, but <laughs> y'all can see me here dancing because I was just having a good old time dancing. I was actually on live. Um, if you guys have ever caught my lives, I have a really good time hanging with you guys. So I was just organizing my um, wood pieces in my corner. Now, a tip for that is those are like my... Um, pieces of poplar I couldn't remember what it was called it's called poplar and they're almost like yardsticks but they're sanded down and they're smooth they don't have numbers on them plus my long square dowel rods stuff like that my husband cut some pieces of PVC for me and um, screwed those to the wood piece right there. So I kind of fit what I could in my PVC and then the pieces that didn't fit, I just kind of stacked in that corner. Then in the last clip, you saw me putting stuff up on my shelf, um, like above my desk and stuff, above the pegboard. That's actually new. My husband built that for some extra storage. And then I also had some chalk couture items that I stored in that corner. We then turned my table because this table has a leaf. It pops up and I wanted to be able to use this entire table. So I got the idea to turn my table and open it up towards my workbench. Um, so that's how you see it here. But in the end, I ended up flipping it back just because there wasn't much room to walk around. Um, but I still had to try it and see, and I just didn't like it. So anyway, while it was facing this way, I did go ahead and organize all of my drawers. At this point, they were just in total disarray. So I pulled everything out and reorganized. I also found this cool little tip. If you have anywhere that you can magnetize things to, 
I highly suggest these pen holders from Amazon. I use them to organize like all my paintbrushes and things like that. I also use them to hold my blow dryer and my hot glue gun on the side of my desk as well so that it is easy access. It's always a family affair. All the kids and my husband love to come out to the she shed and visit me, which I absolutely love. I feel so blessed to be able to work from my phone, from my home, and have my kids and my husband involved as much as possible. If you guys want to learn how to work from your phone, how to build your social medias and monetize them, don't forget to text my number. I will leave it on the screen as well as at the end of the video. Um, just text me the word biz. I would love to have you guys as business partners. But next, I'm going to just organize all of my signs in that bookshelf. Now, eventually that bookshelf is going to be going away. So um, when that arrives, I will be showing you guys that. So anyway, now my white storage drawers are some of my favorite. It. Not only do they look aesthetically pleasing, but they do hold a lot of stuff. I got all of those white shelves or drawer system, I should say, from Michaels. I originally saw drawers like this at Ikea, or I should say I saw people have them from Ikea, but I don't have an Ikea in my area, and Ikea also doesn't ship to my area, unfortunately. So I did just do a Google search and found these on Amazon. I did get these a couple years back, um, so they are not brand new, but I do use them all the time. So I just kind of reorganized my white drawers and took some of this stuff out of the white drawers and put them on my shelves. And then, um, like I said, this bookshelf was just an absolute mess. So I did my best to reorganize those signs as well. The amount of Dollar Tree signs that I have is absolutely insane, you guys. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Nobody needs this much stuff. But I also have a ton of signs in my other shed as well. So I just organized the ones that I had in here, like I said, as best as possible. Now I came up with a system for all of my seasonal items because obviously these items, you're going to switch them out and you're not always going to need Easter stuff or Christmas stuff, whatever the case may be. So I got these white bins from Dollar Tree and for every season, I go ahead and put all of my seasonal stuff in those bins above my white drawer system and then when the seasons pass and I just pack them up I put them in a clear bin labeled like Christmas or you know whatever season it is that way when the next season comes I can easily access it pull it out if I need to and just switch it out if that makes sense. So that was the easiest system that I came up with for my seasonal stuff. Maybe in the future I'll come up with something different but for now it works out pretty well. And then I got this rotating organizer from Michaels. I've had I've also had this for a good while. So I just kind of organized some random items in it and then I put some extra brushes in there that way um, if I run out I can just easily easily grab them. I also really wanted to organize my chalk paste that I grab for a lot. 
um, in one of these drawers. That way I don't have to walk over to my shelf that has my chalk paste. So I store the extra chalk paste on my shelves and then I store the ones that I need to grab in my toolbox. So here is my gorgeous new uh, floral tree and the reason I wanted a new one not only to show you guys but my old buckets from Dollar Tree they were super cheap this was when everything was a dollar so they were definitely much cheaper and not as thick so when my husband went to screw them onto the 4x4 four four, um, it cracked all of the buckets so half of those buckets were getting ready to fall off anyway plus the new one has 12 and the old one had 10 so I got more floral storage out of the new one as well and once I'm done here my husband is going to take it away and he's going to show you guys he was so sweet you guys I didn't even know he was filming it I had been asking him for a while to film it for us so that I could show you guys how to make it since you guys have been asking Asking. and here is my little finished happy dance I was so excited to get this done so you guys this is so easy to make and if you can't cut the pieces yourself you could go to your local hardware store and ask them if they will do it for you I don't know if they will um, but my particular Home Depot does cut for us if we ask them obviously I have a handy husband so he does everything but if needed be I know that our local Home Depot would do it for us so you could always ask so you're going to take one full I believe this is six foot four by four and he took extra scrap pieces cut them on a 45 degree angle and um, just kind of measured from the bottom how big he needed it he cut four pieces on an angle and then he held one piece up and marked it then he took his square and drew a line all the way around that way all of the feet pieces would be nice and even and then once he had them all marked then he went ahead and screw the feet pieces in and my sweet handy husband also wanted me to tell you guys that it's much easier if you start your screws before you screw it in it will just make your life 10 times easier So there you have the base. There's really not much to it, you guys. Only really four cuts and screwing them to the 4x4. I know it seems really intimidating, but I promise you guys, just put your mind to it. I know that you guys can do this. It's a nice, beautiful day. We're going to put our buckets on here for our flowers from the Dollar Tree. We went and got some. Just a little teeny screw. Set it up from the bottom. And there you have it. Okay. 
and there is the floral tree look how gorgeous it is it literally holds so many florals in one bucket and i am just so super grateful to have a husband who supports every single thing that i do he helps me he never looks at me like i'm crazy when i have ideas he never thinks they're crazy ideas and if you guys don't have a supportive partner i definitely recommend to change some things up so let's go into the new she shed Okay guys, so let's start off with my table. Now, this is very dangerous. I don't like doing it myself. However, if you pull this up, the legs are on springs and they just come out. All right, so let me show you guys exactly how it works. It's super heavy, so. So that's how it works. You just literally lift it up. These are on springs and it holds the table up. And then to close it is a little tricky to close it. So. Voila. So we got that from Home Depot. I get a lot of questions about this table. I got this table at Home Depot for everybody wondering if I can remember and if I can find it, I will link it in the pinned comment as well as the description box for you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you guys through my organization as quickly as possible. I've had a ton of questions about my organization in here. So I'm gonna start off over here, obviously a bunch of pens. Um, this I got from Michaels, this whole setup. I have some chalk tour stuff up there, like um, different kits and little houses and surfaces and stuff. And then here I just have like, um, you know, seasonal transfers, like Christmas, things of that nature. Um, so I have my chalk transfers up there, but the hooks are only so big. So with every season, I kind of like switch them out as best as I can. So that's that organization over here. I also got this thing at Michael's. So I just hold extra brushes and just kind of like random stuff there. Now we're gonna go down here to all these drawers. Um, there's like contact paper here. Um, and then this is pretty much a ton of wood stuff. This is all wood here. And then in these drawers, again, just random stuff. I just kind of like organize them as best as I can in categories. So here's like chalkboards, right? Um, this is like more wood stuff, etc., etc. So again, I did the best I could. You guys, I'm not perfect. Um, nobody is. So don't try to make it perfect because you're going to craft and it's going to get all messed up again anyway. So just do the best you can. So I just have all categories in here. Now what I do with these white bins. Now I change these out for every season. So when I go to Dollar Tree, like for instance, right now it's Easter, it's spring, right? So I put all of my Easter and spring like little knickknacks and stuff that I grabbed to craft with for Easter. Um, I put here. I just had all my Christmas stuff in here because that was the last time I crafted in here. So I changed that stuff out and put all my Easter stuff up there. 
paints, chalk paint. These are, or chalk paste. This is extra chalk paste. I'll show you in a minute where my chalk paste is that I use like every day. Um, and then I just have like random stuff over here. These are transfers that I cut up and are no longer in the plastic, but they, so I have my A and B size transfers here. And then um, C, D, and E. These are my are for ribbons. I'm actually I, you guys. I totally forgot to pick up the threaded rods. I wanted to do it for this video, but I forgot it and I wasn't gonna wait. So I'm gonna end up taking all this stuff down. I don't really even use it like that anyway. And I'm going to continue these over there because I have tons. I have tons and tons and tons of ribbon. So I definitely need to extend my ribbon holder. And I get a lot of questions about this. All this is are peg hooks. This is threaded rod. And you get the size of handles. Like you get your handle first. Then I took it over to where the threaded rods are. And I just matched it up this one ain't screwed on too well. Oh, I just took the threaded rod, or I should say, I picked out the little handles that I wanted. I took it over to the section where the threaded rods were and just matched it up. But I can tell you, it's the smallest size threaded rod that they have. Um, and then you're just gonna wanna support it in the middle because they are small, so they do get a little bit wobbly. Um, but that's how I store my ribbon. And then another pro tip for you guys. So I keep this right over here. And to keep my ribbons from unraveling, I just stick a little pin in it. So that's a little pro tip. Then obviously I have all of like my beads and my blocks and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, these are just random random whatever my cleaning supplies then we're gonna go over here to my Cricut uh, vinyl and then I have more Cricut vinyl over here that just didn't fit in these I got these off of Amazon um, I store my spray paints I have glasses like jars all that stuff signs then we come over here and you guys, this used to just be from here down. And I told my husband, I said, it's just not enough space. So the other day he built me these shelves up here and we went to Walmart and I was trying to figure out like, okay, what can I fill these with? And I found these little drawer systems. So I got a bunch of those. Those work really well. And then they also had like smaller ones. So again, I just kind of rearranged everything in categories. Now these bins up here and down here, I already had those. So I just kind of incorporated those as best as I can. I still have some empty ones. That way I have, you know, room to grow, um, which I can always appreciate. I store all like my wood um, dowels and just all that kind of stuff in this corner. Um, I have stickers and all that kind of stuff in here. That was my Timu stencil. I've got wooden boxes and crates over there in that corner. Um, yeah, tools. So last but not least, I'm gonna take you guys into my desk. I also got these off Amazon, which I'm sure I mentioned in the video. Um, these are just magnetic like pen holders for the fridge or whatever. So I thought that these would be absolutely perfect for my desk. I did the same thing over here. If you guys remember, um, when I moved the shed here, I actually used the Dollar Tree pegboard system to do this, but it just didn't hold up very well um, to hold my blow dryer and my hot glue gun. Um, but I, these have been in there since last night and they haven't went anywhere. So these are like really strong magnets. So I just have like, you know, all this stuff that I grab for while I'm working. The point is to make your life easier and save time so that was my way of thinking with that 
So last but not least, um, this is how I film. I've had this thing for years and it just holds your camera up there. I also bought lights to screw into the top. It's called a glide gear. I can link that in my Amazon shop. Um, my professional lights because you can never have enough lighting. And then for my desk, I've got all my paints, painter's tape, and um, jute up here. I've got chalk -a tour stuff. Here is all my chalk pastes that I uh, have accumulated over time. Um, you guys, this is years and years and years of hard work to buy everything that I have. So don't feel like, you know, I wish I could have that. I, don't feel less than because I worked really, really, really hard to purchase every single thing that I have. I literally was an addict homeless for years. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. Here is like wood stuff that I grab for. Um, I have more like popsicle sticks and stuff like over there just to replenish my stash when this gets low. Um, but I like to have plenty right there at my disposal. This is kind of like a junk drawer. I've got all my squeegees here, um, some extra brushes, more extra brushes, some more wood crates, just random stuff. And then on this side, these are all my tools. Sanders, zip sanders. These are my favorite sanders. Linked in my Amazon shop. My glue, you know, my tools, utility knife, wire cutter. She miter shears another random drawer my paint pens and like these little embellishments y'all look how cute these new little candy jars are from Dollar Tree that's that one's pretty much empty so again room to grow and last but not least another junk drawer but these are like heavier tools like my little mini miter saw my stapler some paper towels um like paint and stain cloths um silicone mat some um foam brushes again this is just another like junk drawer so there is that and yeah, you guys, I did it. I can't believe it. I'm so excited to see what we come up with this season in the She Shed. I feel like my best work comes out of this shed. Just having your own space is literally a dream come true. And I thank my husband because none of this would be possible without him, you guys. None of this would be possible without him. I literally owe everything to him. He has done nothing but help me and support me. And I just appreciate that man more than anybody will ever know. And I make sure to let him know every single day. He also put that up there for me for some extra storage. So that's just like random stuff. Up there. Just extra storage storage up here as well um so i have plenty of room to grow so you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what your favorite part of the she shed is i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions i'm so grateful for this space and I worked really, really hard to get it. So let me know, you guys. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. I want you guys to know, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy. You are gorgeous. You literally can do anything you set your mind to. Coming from an addict who is almost nine years sober, I know that if I can do it, you can do it as well. 
I can't wait to see what we make. And with that being said, don't forget. If you guys want to learn how I just recently lost 80 pounds, text my number on the screen here in a second. Or if you guys want to learn how to work from your phone and earn whatever income you would like, text my number, the word biz. I can't wait to chat and I love y'all so Check much. Out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.